Hey guys, I'm here for my 2009 Mini Cooper and I think the last time I changed my cabin air filter I noticed something interesting. Um, I think there's no cover for the intake air coming in from the engine into the filter. So I'm going to go ahead and um, change it right now. Um, this is underneath the uh, passenger side. So I actually had to watch my old video on how to change one of these again to remind myself. So basically you use a flathead screwdriver put it in here pull down a little bit and it opens up just like that oops so then underneath here you'll find the uh, air filter which just pulls straight out like this okay see what I'm talking about is last time I changed this I noticed there's a lot of leaves in here and other crap so I think the air intake that's coming in through here that's going through the filter here is actually there's no screen on the um, engine side so I'm gonna go over to the engine side and actually uh, check that out okay to be able to get to where I think the intake is, where I've seen it before, is it's behind this plastic cover. And to be able to get behind that plastic cover, you need to take off these little screws. So let me get the tool for that. Okay, what you're going to need is a 10 millimeter. There's going to be a plastic one here and a metal bolt back in there. You can't see it because the hood's in the way. I already loosened them most of the way, so. So you're not just watching me unscrew a bolt, which is really boring. There's the plastic ish one. Here's the metal one. Then to be able to pull this off, you gotta pull back the uh, the hood gasket. And I should be able to just lift this out just like that. And that's where the battery compartment is too. And there you go. So let me um, grab the camera and get a closer look. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Right behind the battery compartment underneath that cover, there's the intake and you can see the floor of the passenger side. So right now there's no screen, no nothing. Basically if uh, a rat or a mouse got into the engine compartment and wanted to run in there, it could. And um, I bought this car used, so I don't know if they normally have a screen. And this one was just missing it um, when someone did something to the car. And okay, to get the shape, I held a piece of paper on the inside where the filter usually goes. Actually, it was probably this way. And then I had my son come out and trace it with a permanent marker. Then we place the permanent marker, which don't do, on the engine here, and it rolled down into the engine. So we had to fish it back out. That took a little bit of time. So I don't know what would happen if this thing heats up in the engine. So while looking at that, I discovered that there's a groove. There's a groove inside this rubber, this, this is rubber, this is a rubber gasket. There's a groove in here. So I'm wondering if it was supposed to have a cover, it just fell off or something happened. I don't know what happened. So I'm gonna take my template, find some um, screen, cut it out, probably a little bit bigger because of the groove and um, see if it fits. 
So, this is my scrap of stuff that I've collected. Some is off heater screens and stuff. I just, when the heater broke, I threw away the heater, but kept certain parts of it. So, we're looking at something at least seven inches by four inches. So, got this stuff, which is white. Holes are about a quarter inch. Then I got some finer mesh stuff here. And this is pretty flexible. That'll keep stuff out. Then this is about the same stuff. Holes, just different. We got stuff like this. That's a little too big. Got stuff go through that. So um, I think what I'm going to try to do is use this stuff and cut it to the shape of the uh, template using some um, snips. So um, you don't want to watch me doing that. So um, I'll show you what it turns out to be. Okay, here's the first one that I cut out to the um, template. Actually, I cut this out probably an eighth of an inch bigger than the than the um, template I had on the um, paper, just because I know there's a groove in there. Then when I tried test fitting it, it actually sat in the groove a lot deeper than I thought it had about a gap of this big above it. So I went ahead and cut out a bigger one. And I noticed to make it easier to slide in, I went ahead and put some electrical tape around the edges. So we'll go ahead and try to um, fit this one in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to put that screen on. I, you can see if I'm looking through the hole, I, I already installed the, um, the air filter from the inside, the cabin air filter. So here's my screen. So I'm gonna to try to slide it in the bottom and just kind of work my way around. Get it in the groove. There it goes. And maybe do the sides. And see if I push it in to get the snap in here. Top doesn't look like it's in yet, in the groove. Not quite. There it goes. Took a little work, but um, you can feel that it's actually in the groove now all the way around so um, that's the um, cover on and now I won't get bugs or big bugs or leaves or stuff blowing into the um, cabin air filter so if yours is missing one that's go ahead and make your own and um, snap it in and um, good luck on yours thanks for watching